How's it going, guys? Today we're going to read a book called Nico Draws a Feeling. And um, after that, we're going to do a lesson based on that book. So my name is Mr. Mill, and welcome to The Drama Mill. Let's get going. Hey guys, welcome back to another video. Um, I'm Mr. Mill, and today we're going to be reading Nico Draws a Feeling. Now, this is another book from the library, and uh, I thought it was very interesting. I found it in the art section for kids. And uh, I can't wait to read it. I haven't read this one yet, so I'm in for a surprise as well. So here we go. All right, can you guys see it? Perfect. All right, Nico draws a feeling. Ooh, looks like he's been using crayon. All right. Nico loved to make pictures. Everywhere he went, he carried a box of colored pencils and a pad of paper. Because everywhere he looked, he saw something that inspired him. It might be a mother bird building her nest, or the low autumn sun peeking, sorry, or the low autumn sun peeking out from behind a cloud, or the ice cream truck bring a linging down the street. When Nico was inspired, it felt like a window opening in his brain. An idea would flit through the open window like a butterfly, flutter down to his stomach, then along his arm and fingers to his pencils, where it would escape onto his paper in a whirlwind of color. It was a wonderful feeling, and Nico tried to capture it as often as he could. Sometimes he showed his pictures to his friends. What is it? One of them would ask. It's a ringling of an ice cream truck, Nico would answer. It doesn't look like the ice cream truck, someone else would say. It's not the ice cream truck, Nico would explain. It's the ringling. Where's the bell? It's not the bell, it's the ringling. I don't get it. Sometimes he showed his pictures to his parents. What is it? His mom would ask. It's the warm of the sun on my face, Nico would answer. I don't see the sun, his dad would say. It's not the sun, it's the warm. Where's your face? It's not my face, it's the warm. Oh. Once, he showed a picture to his teacher, Miss Reed. What is it? Miss Reed asked. It's the work of a mother robin building her nest, Nico answered. Where's the robin? It's not the robin, it's her hard work. So this is the nest? It's not the nest, it's her hard work. I see. But Miss Reed didn't see, none of them did. One night, Nico sat on his bed, thinking about all the pictures taped to his walls. Then he looked at himself in the mirror. He was inspired to make another picture, only this one he taped to the back of his door, where no one else could see it. The next day, Nico was heading out with his paper and colored pencils when he noticed a moving truck next door and a girl about his age. Hi, said the girl. I'm Iris. I'm Nico. Hi. What are you doing with that stuff? This? It's nothing. Are you going to draw? Well, yeah. I like to make pictures. Can I see them? I don't know, he said. You might not like them. But I might, Iris answered. Nico decided it would be rude to say no, so he invited Iris over. When they got to his room, Nico waited for her questions. But she just looked and looked. Finally, after looking at every picture in the room, Iris discovered the one behind the door. Wow, said Iris. What, said Nico. You must have been sad when you made this picture. How did you know? Iris thought. 
it looks like how I feel. You know, sad because I had to move. Suddenly, Nico felt a window opening in his brain. Can I make a picture for you? asked Nico. For me? Sure, said Iris. Like a butterfly, an idea flitted through the open window, fluttered down to his stomach, then along his arm and fingers to his colored pencils, where it escaped onto paper in a whirlwind of color. When he was finished, he handed the picture to Iris. This time, Nico asked the question, what is it? Iris looked at the picture for a long time without saying a word. At last, she looked up at Nico. I'm not sure exactly, but it makes me feel like I made a new friend. Nico stared at Iris. You can see that? I can feel it, Iris replied. Like a butterfly landing on my finger. A butterfly, asked Nico. I know, it sounds weird. Nico smiled, not me. That was a really good story. All right. Let's see what we can take away from this and uh, we'll create a lesson about it. So uh, let's get to drawing. Okay, I hope you guys enjoyed that book. I'm sure I did. Now, what I'm gonna do for this lesson is I'm gonna teach you guys how to draw different emotions, just like how kindergarten just did. However, we're gonna go a little more advanced. So with that said, um, if you guys have ever heard of this word before, it is a specific type of cartooning style uh, invented by, I think, uh, Japanese culture. I could be wrong. Uh, I've been hearing around that's from Korean culture, but uh, I'm gonna go with Japanese. Um, now, with that said, when it comes to chibi cartoons, um, there's a certain way how they do them. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to demonstrate it with this marker. So we have a couple circles here representing faces. Okay. So so now what we normally do when we draw faces is that we kind of just draw the eyes kind of spaced apart evenly, how we normally do, and we just put like a nice smile like that. That's how we normally do it. However, um, there's a way where some people kind of sometimes go like up higher, and then they draw the mouth really low. Sometimes people do that. However, when it comes to chibi form, what people do, they make it a lot cuter. So in order to get it a lot more cute, what they do is that they space out the eyes really far apart. And then once the eyes are really far apart, they create the mouth really far uh, up and almost in between the eyes. And they make the, uh, the mouth really, really small. So what I just did, is I'm just gonna demonstrate a, a couple triangles for you. So this one's kind of like an even triangle. This one's kind of like a more of a nice triangle like this. And this one's kind of like a triangle that looks like this. And these three triangles will be the base of how you're gonna be normally drawing chibi cartoons. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna place these uh, same triangles right down below. And then I'm gonna prove a point to you guys of how this works. Okay, so now what I'm gonna do is with these three triangles, I am gonna create my faces, but I'm gonna draw the exact same item or character of my choosing. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna get a brown. I'm gonna create, um, let's see, what should I do? I'm gonna create a bottom cup. So again, they're gonna be all the same. Or at least I tried to make them all the same. And I'm basically gonna make these all into cupcakes. And they're all gonna have a face. Okay? So why don't I do this pink one right here? And they're all gonna have the same shape. Okay? Here we go. Very similar. All right. Let me test out my theory that I just did up here, down here. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take my black marker. And then what I'm gonna do, oh, I made this triangle upside down, didn't I? Sorry guys, Mr. Mill made a mistake. <laughs> it's supposed to be like that. Okay, so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna fix this triangle so it's the correct way. Because this triangle is important, guys, when it comes to making cartoons. All right, so that's very similar. Okay, now, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna use this marker and using the points that I created with the, with the triangles, and that will, will be my guidelines for making my eyes and mouth. So here we go. 
So here's my eyes for this one. Here's my eyes for this one. And notice how I'm going on the, t the points of the triangle. Here's my eyes for this one. And then what I'm going to do for this one, I'm going to try to draw... Uh, you know what? Let's try this. So say for instance, Mr. Mill, I don't really believe you. Let's try to do the same size mouth. So instead of doing like a wide mouth like this, let's try to draw a small mouth like this. See what happens. Small mouth, small mouth, and then small mouth. If you guys just look from far away, or if I just give, uh, take it a step further, and I erase the triangles so you guys can see it better. There we go. Check that out. Which one looks cuter? Number one, two, or three? I think number three looks cuter. So it's safe to say that this type of triangle, which is based on the chibi style, is the best way how to do a really cute face. So anyways, what I want you guys to do, really simple, using the chibi style, I want you guys to make four food types, four food types below. So if you want to split your paper into four like this, you can, or you can like make a scene out of it. Uh, I'm just gonna split it in half uh, for you guys. So what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna make four different foods. So maybe I'll make one into a burger. I wanna do this in pencil first. Burger, and then maybe I'll draw the cheese. It's on the patty, there you go. Lettuce, or whatever, why not? In the bun. And space for a face somewhere. The face is gonna go right there. And if I need a guideline, I'll put my guideline right here. So remember, using this type of triangle to make things cuter. So here I go. So there's that. I might as well do an ice cream. So here's my ice cream. Watch out. All unhealthy snacks, obviously. Let's try to make something more healthy. Hold on. Um. Uh, it's not quite more healthy, but I like it. I'm gonna draw a latte. Let's make it a frappuccino. Watch out. That's a bad hole for a frappuccino. All right, that's a really bad straw too. Anyways, I tried. All right, <laughs> there you go. Liquid inside, and then the face can go there. So triangle right here. Triangle right here. Let's put it really low. And then finally, let's try to think of something else for our fourth food group. Um, why am I drawing a blank right now? Um, tacos. I love tacos. Let's do a taco. Stuff me inside. Doesn't have to be perfect. All right, taco. And then we'll put the triangle right there. All right, first comes first. Let's make the faces in all of them. We could do the faces last. Doesn't matter to me mouth. Um, if you want to make them different emotions, you can. Um, why don't I do that? <laughs> That's so cute. And look, they're all using the same triangle format. Those are my four food groups. Uh, let's start drawing some uh, artwork on them. All right, why don't I create a scene with this burger? And uh, in order to make sure it's under 15 minutes for this video, why don't I speed up the video right now? So I'll see you in the, at the very end.
I just outlined it just so you guys can see it better from the camera view. But anyways, that's how you draw Trippy style. I hope you guys enjoyed this video, and I'm sure I did. But anyways, that's it for today, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye-bye.